Welcome back to That Dad Guy. It's February 27th, 2023, and today we are going into this box. This is a box my brother Eric sent me from Toronto. Uh, I opened it on Friday to show you what was in it, and uh, it had Lego minifigures, which I was lucky enough to be able to rope my son into uh, doing a video with me and opening those minifigures. Uh, I showed you that on the weekend. Uh, it also had some postcards in it. I showed you that on Friday, what the postcards were. It had a uh, postcard and story that answers the question that I have for February that's going to come out this Friday, or no, this Saturday, um, coming up. So it had that in it. And it had this bag with this box in it. And that's what we're saving for today. Chuck everything else on the floor. It doesn't matter. The rest is empty. Nicely wrapped in wrapping paper that says Dank Mart. I had no idea what Dank Mart was. Uh, so Eric asked me to Google it. I did. And the first thing that came up was a Vancouver store. Because this originally was uh, introduced. Or it was a, an original convenience store in Vancouver. And has expanded. And now there is one in Toronto as well. This is where my brother found this. Um, so what it is, is it's a convenience store with all sorts of different candies and drinks that are either exotic or limited time. Um, might be something nostalgic, might be something from another country, but has a whole bunch of different things that you could get there that you might not normally see in your local store. And uh, so yeah, it sounds really cool. So he sent this box, which is a mystery box you can buy. I don't know what size mystery box this is, if it's a small or a large or what it is, but he doesn't know what he sent me either because it comes pre-wrapped like this. You pay for it and uh, send it off, but you have no idea what it is. And apparently they change every week what's inside these mystery boxes. So if you were to go into the store in February and buy a box and then go back again in a couple of weeks, you'll get something completely different than what you got the first time, which I think is a cool idea too. So... Let's open it up. Let's see what Dank Mart uh, has and what's inside their mystery boxes. So we wait no longer. We're going to tear into this in the best way possible. I don't know why I'm saving the paper, but I am. Maybe it's just to have the suspense. We've got one end open. It doesn't give any indication anymore. It's just a white box by the looks of things. So we'll open the other end. Whoever does the wrapping for Yank Mart does a good job. Both ends, both white boxes. All right, still no clue. Tear across the back. All right, the paper is off. It's intact. Throw that on the floor, and we have a simple white box. Ooh. All right. Let's pop the top of this box to see what's inside. Oh, oh. Oh, it's hard to open like that. Nice, thick. All right. So the first thing I see is Sour Punch. So we have, uh, they look like Rope Twizzlers. I mean, it's not a Twizzler product. So uh, Rope Licorice, we'll say. It says Rainbow Straws, Strawberry, Green Apple, Blue Raspberry, and Lemon Flavor. And they're going to be sour. All right, so that's one. The next thing we have is a salted caramel Twix bar. I've never seen a salted caramel Twix bar. Doesn't say where it comes from, does it, on the back? Let's just have a quick look. No, doesn't. I thought maybe it would indicate the country. It has the nutritional facts, so you don't really want to know about that. It does say there's 200 calories in it, but it doesn't say where. It does say product of the USA, so uh, yeah, it comes out of New Jersey. So it might be something you can get in the States, maybe you can't get it here, maybe you can get it here, I've just never seen it. Alright, the next thing we have are Rope Nerd Candy. Nerd Candies, normally I see them in the, the boxes, they have little pull tabs across the top, uh, maybe separated by two flavors here in one box. Well, this is a, a Rope Candy, so it means that it's a continuous line of all these little nerds right there. And uh, it says tear and share, so you can pull the rope apart. Um, so it, once again, it's like a piece of licorice down the middle by the looks of things with the candies attached to the outside. Sweet and crunchy outside, soft and chewy inside. 
Mm, doesn't give you a particular flavor. It does have blue and pink ones shown in the picture. So I don't know if there's maybe raspberry and or strawberry and uh, I don't know. Who knows? Okay, the next one is Laffy Taffy in the Sparkle Cherry flavor. I'm a big fan of Laffy Taffy. Um, not a big fan normally of cherry, but cherry and uh, candy sometimes is good. I don't mind like cherry jello and things like that. I don't like real cherries on things. Uh, my wife it does, so Shanda, you would normally get those. And uh, she might get this too. All right, so the next thing we have, oh, Fun Dip. Do you guys have Fun Dip? Do you know what this is? Okay, so each one of these, there's uh, three different packs here of different flavors. We've got strawberry, we've got watermelon, and we've got a uh, Tartastic Mystery Dip. So we don't know what this one is. And in here, there are two candy sticks. You can see them here. So they're just hard pieces of, of uh, candy, I guess. You can eat the sticks after, but once you lick them, it, it makes it sticky. So you stick the, stick the stick in here and it uh, takes up the candy. You can see it there on the end. That's what they're showing. So then you lick these and at the end, you just eat the candy to stick. So that'll be good. Haribo Sour Kicks with a zing. So sour gummy candies. Uh, I have seen this product before here too, so it's not something different, but uh, I can't say that I've ever had these. Uh, the flavors in them are sour raspberry, sour orange, sour lemon, sour grape, and sour strawberry. So we got a couple sour things here. All right, the next thing we have is called Trolley Sour Bright Crawlers. Very berry is the flavor. Um, came out during the uh, Halo game, I guess. It says there's a free in-game content with the purchase. But once again, there's sour candies. You can see in the back of there are gummies, different sour berry on it. So the theme of this box seems to be th sour. And then just the last thing, yeah, last thing in the box is Fruity Pebbles Birthday Cake Candy Bar from the Flintstones. Also something I've never seen before. This is the king size Fruity Pebbles Birthday Cake. So it looks like a, a white chocolate candy bar with uh, Fruity Pebbles cereal inside of it. So that'll be interesting. This comes from uh, uh, Philadelphia. So there we go. We've got Fruity Pebbles, white chocolate. This would be perfect if Daya was home because she's a big fan of white chocolate. Um, then the sours. We've got one, two, three things of sour candies. We have Fun Dip, so just pure sugar. We've got the Laffy Taffy. We've got the Nerd's Rope. And we've got the salted caramel Twix. So there's only one chocolate. Well, there's a white chocolate too. You want to count that as chocolate. <laughs> but mostly candy. So, I don't know, Eric, how much you paid for a mystery box like this. But a mystery box from Dank Mart. The week that you bought this, it got you all of this. So there is a lot of stuff in there. Um, I don't know. Should I do a little bit of a, a taste test? If I taste test all this stuff, I'm going to be sick, but I can open a little bit and eat a, a few, I guess, out of it, and then that way uh, I can share it with Ari when he comes home and uh, Shanda. All right, let's do that. Let's try, let's try a sour gummy first. I've got some scissors here. We're going to try a sour, which one is this? The sour orange boot. That's what they're all shaped like, little shoes. Strong orange taste, that's for sure. Yeah, not too sour. All right, let's try Sour Break Crawlers. These were the Halo ones. So these look like gummy worms. There you go, gummy worm. Got two flavors on it. Strawberry and a, I don't know, blue raspberry or something. Yeah, blue raspberry. Not 
not very sour, I would say. Better tasting than the, the gummy shoes that I had before. All right, what do we got next? Let's keep with the sour theme. So we're gonna try one of these uh, sour punch ropes. They come in a little tray. All right, let's try. Those are a bit more sour. Not bad, very flavorful though, good. All right, Nerds Rope. Because it says there's things you can share, I'm just gonna open part of them. I'll seal them up with clips. And then uh, when Ari comes home, he can pick and choose what he wants to try to eat. And this way I can show you. So a Nerd Rope, you can get it out of the package here. I just, oh. I'm gonna have to open it more, I think. So it looks like this. I like that. Mm. I always like nerds. They were fun to eat. When the boxes you tilt them up, eat your side of the box, or you can tilt open both sides, eat two sides at the same time. So this is very berry, very berry flavor, with uh, kind of the soft gummy thing that's holding it together, the licorice center. Yeah, I like that. There may not be any of that left in the future. All right, laffy taffy cherry. I'm not going to open this. I'm going to save this for uh, Shanda to to eat, I think, or to try. I think this is going to be more her thing. We know what Laffy Taffy, you guys know what Laffy Taffy is. Okay, I'll open it to show you because maybe you don't know what Laffy Taffy is. All right, this is Laffy Taffy. A little bit off the end. If you can't, there. I'll have to put that in a Ziploc bag because uh, it'll dry right out now. Yeah, that's not my thing. So I did that for you. I opened it so you guys can see it. All right. Salted Caramel Twix. Do you ever have a Twix? There's always two in the bag. That's how they come. There was something recently, um, a lot of candies all came out with salted caramel versions of themselves. I haven't seen this before, but it seemed to be the thing everybody wanted to do. Salted caramel this, salted caramel that. I'm not crazy about it. Twix was good by itself the way it was. I don't think you have to go salted caramel. It's all right, though. All right. Fruity Pebbles candy bar. Looks like this. It's got squares so you can actually portion size it. So we're going to take one square out of there. So it looks like the Fruity Pebbles cereal inside white chocolate.
Oh, that's not good. But I don't like white chocolate. I can't say I'm a big Fruity Pebble cereal fan either. That is very sweet. Oh. All right. Fun dip. <laughs> Eric, you're going to make me sick. But thanks. This is an interesting video. All right. Fun dip. Have you guys seen these? We're going to open it. You just, you don't need scissors. You can tear across the top. There's the stick. It says lick a stick on it. I'm just going to break off a portion of it because I don't need the whole stick. I don't have to eat it all right now. I know what strawberry tastes like. I probably know what watermelon, but let's open up the mystery one and see what's in there. Let's hope it's better than the candy bar. All right, Dank Mart, so far, super cool. I'd be curious to see what else you have. Um, I know on the website, they says they do drinks. I'm a big fan of uh, different types of uh, pops or sodas. So it would be cool to see what you had and where they're from. All right, we're gonna lick the stick first, get it wet so it can pick up some of the product. And then you can see, I don't know if you can without me dumping it on the floor, I don't wanna do that. There you go. You can see how much is inside of it. So about half of uh, half of the size is this product. All right, I would say that's blue raspberry flavor. That's good. Yep, yeah, I like that. We gotta find a way to seal that up so I don't spill it everywhere. So there, we'll just put that aside, get it in the box. Um, yeah, I'll put some of these things in Ziploc bags so they stay fresh so Ari can enjoy it when he gets home from school and uh, Shannon can you know, have some when she's home from work. But make sure I don't eat it all because I don't want to get diabetes from this. But uh, it would be really cool to see what else is out there. Um, I know that they sell drinks. So Dank Mart, if you're watching, watching and you see my address is in the description below, if you want to send a mystery box of drinks this way, I'd love to show that, those off too. Uh, I'm a big fan of pop soda, so uh, see ones from different countries or maybe ones that were just limited run uh, would be really cool. If you happen to be in Vancouver or Toronto or you live there currently, you should go check these places out. Uh, if you're visiting one of these cities, then uh, yeah, for sure. If you're into candy and you want to see what they've got, go and uh, check out what they've got on, uh, on hand the time you get there. And remember, if you get a mystery box, you're not necessarily going to get what I got and you won't get what I got because they change every week. So uh, it'll be something new. And they come in different sizes too. You can get small, you can get large. Yeah. Very cool, Eric. Thank you for sending this uh, mystery box and uh, introducing me to Dank Mart, which let me introduce everybody else to Dank Mart. And if you're looking for it, Dank is D-A-N-K-M-A-R-T, Dank Mart, just in case my accent or something is mixing it up for you. All right, you guys, have a magical week. What follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Bye.